What's up guys? Tiny House Dreaming here. Me and Stuart. I started calling Stewie Stuart. He said I'm a grown up now, mom. You have to call me Stuart. So I call him Stuart. Still call him Stewie too. But we're just checking in. We are at the Chalbani factory in New Berlin, New York, headed to Illinois. And just taking Stewie on a walk up Stewart, taking Stewart on a walk. And thought I would say hello to everybody. It is, don't even ask me the date. It's a Tuesday in November. That's all I can tell you. I don't even know the, what date it is, but I have not been good on my check-ins, but I thought I would uh, say hey while I was walking. Um, I've been excited, y'all. Woo! 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 Can't really dance with the phone in my hand, but um, yeah, man, we have um maybe about twenty, about twenty-ish days maybe a little bit more than 20 days depending on what the date actually is but two tanks gets turned in on december 2nd early in the morning 4 45 a.m i have an appointment to turn him in get his final inspection and all of that and then i'm on the plane at 9 30 headed out of springfield so it's been i'm gonna miss two tanks he was a good truck whoever gets him next other than that freaking beeping saying the air brake is um low when it's really not but somebody told me that it was that i could take it to the freight liner and it's called the drag that they would have to fix the drag i never really took it to freight liner to get it fixed just because i like to keep rolling i don't like sitting and by the time i've learned that i was like you know what it's almost time to turn it in so forget it but that's the only thing that I have to complain about two tanks. Other than that, he doesn't give me any problems. So I will miss him, but I have already ordered my next truck. I ordered it like back in May or June, something like that. Um, and it's still not there. I like have the VIN number and all of that, but it's not actually at the yard. I was at the yard maybe a week and a half ago. Um, getting a trailer fix and i had like drove around looking for it but i know once it comes in the lady that orders them at prime she'll send you an email letting you know that it's there but so my next truck is already ordered however i'm not sure that i'm going to be coming back to prime but i did order it just in case and i only paid for like 700 dollars worth of extra stuff so if i don't end up coming back it's not that big of a loss and it's already that that money's already paid off anyways but um yeah um but i have to figure out what's my next move you know when you lease a truck at prime and your lease is over you have 59 days before you have to sign a new lease so you don't like lose your tenure or whatever you know like prime puts money into like i guess what's kind of considered as like a 401k type retirement pot that they like put fifteen hundred dollars in and so much sense of each mile that you run like you contribute to it so that way like if you um once you like if you stay with prime i think it's like eight years or more or whatever is when you can get that money that prime's put in so it's kind of like a retirement type situation it's not called retirement but it's kind of that similar the same principles apply like they try to get you to stay there where you're vested or whatever and um if you stay more than eight years then whenever you leave prime you get the money that they have contributed as well as obviously you get the money you contributed whether you stay eight years or not but um you have once you turn in your lease the day you like sign in your lease you know to give it back to them you have 59 days to come back and release again without losing that money that prime has invested in like losing your tenure like if you've been leasing with prime for six years you know if you, as long as you come back and release you'll keep that six year seniority date um for me it hasn't been six years it's been 
two and a half but um so i have to like january 25th i think was the day on the calendar i looked to see like when my 50 they say they like for you to be back by day 55 just because it takes a couple days to actually like you know inspect your truck do all of the stuff that you need to do get yourself moved back into the truck and all that and then you sign it by day 59 but they want to have you on the yard and ready like don't get back day 59 and be trying to rush to do everything right because if you let it go past that 59 days you lose your your seniority or tenure date or whatever they call it but um if i do come back to prime i mean obviously you can come back after that 59 days you just will kind of start over as a new lease person you won't hold any of that um seniority but you can still stay three months out and come back you know so but i mean if you're gonna come back why not come back within that 59 days just to keep your the money that they've put into your account and all of that stuff but um so i have to like january 25th i think was the if i get back to them on day 55 that was like the day if i'm gonna come back to prime come back by then haven't decided yet i'm kind of looking into expedited um expedited trucking and i don't really know i'm like keeping my options open you know i've only been with prime since i've been in a cdl i've only driven reefer a reefer division so like i don't know a whole lot about a lot of different trucking stuff or um avenues you know it's like all the stuff i know is from talking to other drivers and stuff but i haven't actually reached out to any companies or anything like that to um so i kind of probably will be doing that with my time while i'm home but i have we have to move from north carolina to southern california so as soon as i get off the truck that's like the first big thing that we'll be doing is moving across country got all these dogs i'm shipping my mom out there yes she's moving to southern california with us i would not be leaving my mom anywhere only got one mom my dad already passed you only get one of each parent right so i am an only child don't have a big family so like my mom being close to me always is a big thing for me you know like i like to keep her close because she's the closest family member I have I'm close with my mom and I would never like want to live across country I mean if she wanted to stay in North Carolina that was obviously an option like I'm not the boss of her or anything but she's kind of like me like she don't want to live all the way across the country from her baby not her baby and you want to know who her baby is that little funky chicken head right there that's her stewie <laughs> but no y'all know what i'm saying so yeah mom is coming but i'm putting her on a plane with bambi one of the dogs and she's flying to uh, southern california and me and gerald will be driving a u-haul with the trailer with my car on it because i don't want to put the miles on my car and we'll be taking the long road Stewie's gonna already be in Southern California and Miss Bella baby she'll be in the U-Haul with us and it'll be an adventure but that's like nerve-wracking because I feel like I just moved across country even though it's been two years it would have been two years once we moved we would have been in Raleigh for two years well like 20 days shy of two years because we literally arrived in Raleigh January 1st, 2019. But we'll be moving December 9th, 2020. So just a couple days short of two years. But a lot has been going into that, like getting it coordinated and ready and all of that. So I've been doing a lot of stuff with my free time while I'm in the truck trying to get to the end of lease date. Cause man, if I could turn two tanks in right now and there's two tanks, we're just sitting here doing our 10 hour break even though our trailer is already ready but um if i could turn two tanks in today i would but 
is too early. You can have seven days before your end of lease. And my actual end of lease date is December 6th, but you can turn it in seven days early. So I picked December 2nd just because that kind of works out with um, the day that I told my apartment complex that I would be ending my lease and trying to get my mom on the plane and all of that. It kind of worked out better for December 2nd was like the perfect day. And that's the end of the pay period. That's a Wednesday. So I'll be able to like finish the pay period on the end of the, you know, on the last day of it. And it is what it is. Stewie, let's go back this way. You're trying to walk in all the nasty gunky. But um, yeah, so I'm just checking in with you guys since I haven't for a while. Hope everybody's been doing okay. This election is over, but is it really though? Because the shenanigans. And I know both sides, uh-uh, don't, nope, nope, nope. Both sides are saying that. The Trumpets think that somehow the election was rigged. Explain that one to me, because I don't get it. And the Bidians are just like, yo, homie, it is what it is. Let's get this process going. But at least that's over, because that was really giving me anxiety. I always kind of had in my head that um, it was gonna go the way that it did so I was prepared but you know when such so much is at stake right that you're like you're like um, even though you kind of anticipate what's gonna happen it's like okay chill does right chill girl but you don't really know until it happens and it goes down and you like oh okay I can breathe now Woo child so that's where I'm kind of at. I'm happy that it's over, but I'm like, what is the shenanigans? Why can't we just bask in this joy of this um, upcoming new presidentialness that we got coming in January? Why you got to uh, be holding stuff and you can't concede and you can't send letters to let people get what they need to get? What's going on? But you know what? I expect nothing less of the man that sits in the Oval currently. And I'm gonna just let that be that. And I hope everybody has a good night. Me and Stewie are going to get back in this truck and try to go to sleep, although y'all can see that I'm not even tired, right? And I gotta get up and start driving at 1.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna try to just make myself like do some jumping jacks or something, and I don't know. I don't know. But I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.